Today we are reading Silly Tilly's Valentine by Lillian Hoban. It's almost Valentine's Day, right? Uh -huh. It was Valentine's Day and Silly Tilly was baking cupcakes. Bring, bring, the telephone rang. Good morning, Tilly Mole, said Mr. Bunny. Do you remember what today is? Oh dear, said Tilly. I forgot to remember. Well, today is a special day, said Mr. Bunny. Look out the window and you will see. Silly Tilly looked out the window. It's snowing, cried Tilly. It is a special day, just right for making a snowman. Snow is nice, said Mr. Bunny, but it's not what I mean. I will see you later, and he hung up. Maybe if I go outside, I will remember why today is special, said Tilly. Then I will know what Mr. Bunny means. Tilly put on her boots, her boots and her coat. Have you ever played out in the snow before? Yeah. Gotta bundle up, right? Uh -huh. She opened the front door. Swoosh! The wind swirled snow around her. <gasps> Goodness, said Tilly. I forgot how cold snow is. I need a scarf and mittens. And Tilly put on her scarf and mittens. Tilly went out in the snow. Wherever she looked, everything was white. The bushes in the garden were white. The trees were white. The path was white. The mailbox at the end of the path was white. But something in the mailbox was bright red. Oh, cried Tilly. That looks special. Maybe that's what Mr. Bunny means. Tilly ran down the path to the mailbox. Swoosh! She slipped. Plop! She fell down. Oh, dear, said Tilly. I forgot to remember how slippery snow was. Tilly lay flat on her back. The wind blew some snow around her, and snow fell on her face and sprinkled on her glasses. Goodness, said Tilly, it's snowing so hard I can't see a thing. Just then, Mr. Mail Mole came to deliver some valentines. Tilly, he called, why are you lying in the snow? Are you making snow angels? Tilly blinked her eyes, but she could not see. Is that you, Mr. Mail Mole? she asked. I can't remember why I'm laying in the snow, but I don't, I don't want to make snow angels. I want to make a snowman. Oh, good, said Mr. Mail Mole. Wait, and I will help you. He tried to stuff the valentines into Tilly's mailbox, but there was no more room. Mr. Mail Mole put Tilly's valentines down in the snow. I'm ready, he said, and he started to roll a snowball. We will need a big snowball for the snowman's bottom, he said. We will need a carrot for his nose, said Tilly, and she ran to her house to get a carrot. But she could not see, and the wind blew her around and around, and she forgot where she was going, and she ran towards the mailbox instead. Suddenly, the wind blew Tilly's valentines up out of the snow and into the air. Red hearts and pink hearts swirled over Tilly's head. Oh, cried Tilly, how lovely, colored snowflakes. I will put them on the snowman before they melt. And they, Tilly hurried to pick up the snowflakes. Were they really snowflakes? No. No. They were very But nice. she could not see and she bumped into the mailbox. Is that you, Mr. Mail Mole? She asked the mailbox. Help me put these snowflakes on the snowman before they melt. Tilly, where are you? Called Mr. Mail Mole. And he went up the path to her house and knocked on the door. The snowman is finished and he needs the carrot for his nose, he called. Oh dear, I forgot to remember the carrot, said Tilly. She's not very good at remembering, is she? No. Just then, Mr. Bunny came hop, hop, hopping down the road. I will tell you what else you forgot, he said. You forgot this. And Mr. Bunny pulled a big red heart out of the mailbox. I made this valentine for you and I wrote a poem too. Oh my goodness, said Tilly, a valentine. That's what I forgot. I forgot to remember it's Valentine's Day and I didn't make a valentine for you. Tilly tried to sniffle. That's, Tilly started to sniffle. That's all right, Tilly, said Mr. Bunny. He took out his handkerchief. Here, wipe your eyes. Tilly wiped her eyes and she wiped the snow from her glasses. She could see. She read the poem on her valentine. It said, Roses are red, violets are blue, honey is sweet, and so are you. That's beautiful, Mr. Bunny, she cried. Thank you. These are for you too, said Mr. Bunny, and he picked all the red and pink valentines up out of the snow. There's one from Mr. Chipmunk, and one from Mrs. Fieldmouse, and one from Mr. Woodchuck, and one from... Mr. Mailmole banged on Tilly's door. Tilly, he called, are you there? 
I smell something burning. Oh my goodness, cried Tilly. I just remembered. I didn't forget Valentine's Day. I baked Valentine's cupcakes. Tilly ran to the house and into the kitchen and opened the oven door. There were heart-shaped cupcakes, all golden brown and beautiful. That's all right, said Tilly. Just some crumbs burned. Tilly iced the cupcakes with pink icing. Mr. Milmo and Mr. Bunny took turns licking the bowl clean. They each had a Valentine cupcake. And Mr. Milmo promised to deliver the rest of Tilly's Valentine cupcakes to all her friends for Valentine's Day. The end.